Today I'm going to be showing you how to manage your resources for crafting purposes. So as you see right here, it says I have 40 aluminum. So for crafting purposes, it actually takes everything from your inventory and it takes everything combined from all your ships. So as you can see right here, it's telling me for this purpose I have 830 mass out of 450. So this combined resource is actually the combined from all my ships. So for crafting purposes, you don't need to have a storage ship. You need one, but you don't actually have to use it for gameplay. So I'm going to be showing you the strategy so you can play with a fighter ship, but still easily store all of your resources. So step one is one, you need a fighter ship and you need a storage ship. You're going to get your first storage ship for free very early in the game. And then once you get going, you can buy them. So you can buy a second and a third storage ship. And generally they're on the cheaper side. They're like a hundred to 150,000. Then your fighter ships are like 200 K plus to nearly 300 K and probably even more once the game really gets going. So the storage ships are the cheaper ones. So you can buy an extra one. Definitely worth it once you start getting into serious crafting. Now to manage your resources, what you want to do is at the end of their missions, bring all of your resources and give them to your crew members on your fighter ship. Also pro tip, if you have any extra carry gear, giving you like bonus 20 carry, whatever, and you're not using it, it's outdated, equip that gear onto crew members, that way they can carry more resources. So now you got all of your crew as extra resource storage. You're gonna also use your primary fighter ship for the most part for resource storage. Once your crew members and your fighter ship gets maxed out, then you will make your way to a ship mechanic and you're going to move all that inventory from your crew members and your fighter ship onto your person. You're going to be significantly overweight, but that is fine. Now that you have all the resources on your person, you're going to go to the ship mechanic and make your storage ship for resources your home ship. Now because you can't fast travel because you're so overweight, you will manually have to go back to the ship, move all your resources over from your person to your storage ship, and then manually come back to the shop and switch back to your fighter ship for gameplay. Now this is a little bit annoying to do, but there's no better way to do it, and this way allows you to play with a fighter ship and still easily move over all your resources within a couple of minutes. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, share. It helps others find the video. I hope this helped.